everyone, today's video is going to be a makeup haul video and I didn't get all this makeup at once, but it seems like after Christmas I used my Sephora card, my Nordstrom card, that type of thing. So I thought I would just share with you what I've purchased recently. One of the first things is I was looking for a new foundation and I actually went to the Bobbi Brown in New York in Saks because they were having that beauty event there. And I tried the Skin Finish Foundation because one of my friends used it and it looks gorgeous on her skin, but on me, it was too drying for me. I think she has more normal to oily skin, and on me, it just dried me out, and it did not look great. So they also gave me a sample of the, I think it's called the Ultra Rich Moisturizing Foundation, which is supposed to be more for dry skin, which is what I have. And if you look back at my how to brush, round brush your hair video, blow it dry, I look like a greasy mess. That's what I had on my face, and it is so super shiny, so I did not like that one either. So I went to Sephora, and I actually got the Dior Skin Nude Natural Glow Hydrating Makeup, and I really like this. I'm in the color 30, and the color matches me perfect right now, so I like that part. You can't tell that I'm wearing any foundation when I put it on, so I really like that. You know, sometimes you can see it around your chin or your nose, you can see the specks. I cannot see this. It was challenging for me to figure out how to put it on um, because I had tried my 187 and it took a while to get it kind of blended in. And recently what I've been doing is just putting it on with my hands, kind of warming it up in my hands, and then going back either with a 187 or I purchased this. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush that's got the flat top from Target and just kind of buffing it in with this. So I've been liking that. The next thing is, let me go back to Bobbi Brown for a minute. I switched back and forth between the Bobbi Brown concealer and the Laura Mercier. Seems like the Laura Mercier works for me when I'm a little bit darker. Right now I'm kind of paler. So the girl talked to me about the color correctors, that they like to recommend the color correctors along with the concealer. So I actually purchased the color corrector in light to medium bisque and it's kind of a light salmon color um, compared to let's see the concealer and mine has a hair in it but um, this is the beige concealer and then I also have the warm beige for the summer months so if I compare the two this one right here is the um, the corrector this one is the concealer so they're a little bit different. So I've been trying that. I just feel like lately I've had such trouble concealing. I think because I've got bad allergies and I always tend to look kind of puffy under there. So I've been, I've been liking that. The other thing that I got was a, um, a pot blush. You know, one of these that comes in here, a, a cream blush. And this one is called Blushed Rose Number 3. And I really like the color of it. I put it on after my foundation, before I put on powder. And it's just kind of a natural looking color. Kind of mauve -y. Um, It's not too pink, not too orange. Just kind of gives you the right amount of, you know, color to your cheeks. And then if I want, I'll put powder and then blush over it. The next thing that I got at Bobbi Brown was some of their gel liner. I had never tried their gel liner and instead of getting straight black I got the color Caviar Ink and it's more of a dark dark gray color so it's not as harsh as black and I've been liking that. I tried it with my angled brush and I was having trouble with it so I went back and got a Smashbox. This is the one that's kind of angled so it's easier to get in there and get close to your lash line and I've been liking this especially on my left eye because it's harder for me to do that side so I've been liking that the other brush that I got and this is a huge brush it's from Bobbi Brown it's called eye sweep I mean it's really really big and fluffy major big I mean but is to go in after I put my crease color on and really just blend that line out before you get to the highlight color. Um, so I've been liking this big brush for that. It's kind of different than anything I've seen before, but I like it so far. Then I bought a couple things from MAC. I bought the Shell Cream Colored Base, and I love this just for highlighting. It's probably not going to show up on my hand, but it's next to the blush. I don't know if it's catching any light. I put a little bit on the tops of my cheeks here, 
And I've really been liking this, especially at night when I, you know, if I'm going out and the light hits it, I think it looks nice. I also tried the Mineralized Skin Finish. My color is in medium plus. And the jury's still out on this one. I like the way it looks um, when I first put it on, but then I can't tell if it makes me look oily or greasy or not. Um, so jury's still out on this one. I do like the color of it, and I like it when you first put it on. So that, what else? Oh, let's see. Another thing from Bobbi Brown I got was the, they came out with a new eye cream. I don't know how new it is, but I know people on YouTube have talked about the regular hydrating eye cream. This one is called the Extra Eye Repair Cream, and it comes in a jar like this. And I really like this. It's, it's thick. I put it on at night and in the morning, and I can really tell a difference. I still use the Dermalogica um, face products, but their eye creams, I was never, I used it, but I didn't ever like love it. I branch out and try new things, and I'm liking this one so far. That reminds me, I'm kind of jumping all over the place, that if y'all watch Tammy at these beads, she talks about the Shiseido eye treatment masks, and so I purchased some of those. These are the ones that come, I think there's 12 in here, and they're eye masks, so you put them around your eyes, and she did a video on it, so I'll put her link below, and you can check out her video on it. And um, it's a mask for your eyes, so what's funny is I took a picture on my iPhone of my eye before and after, and then, you know on your iPhone, if you're showing somebody a picture, they start to scroll through and there's a picture of my eye before and after so I deleted it because I was too embarrassed but I can tell a slight difference and it's not going to make my wrinkles go away I know that I mean I think I would have to go to a plastic surgeon or something like that but I think what it did was hydrate them enough to make the appearance of them look not as deep so I've only used this eye mask twice, so I still have 10 more, and I'm trying to space it out, because it is kind of expensive. I think this whole thing was $62, and you get 12 eye masks, or, you know, enough to do it 12 times. So, I am liking this so far, so thank you, Tammy. And what else do I have here? Oh, I, you know me with my cracked hands and terrible cuticles. I bought the Bliss High Intensity Hand Cream. This little thing is only like one fluid ounce and it's $8. But I'm telling you, you put this on your hands and it feels like a baby's butt. It is so super soft. So I would repurchase this again, even though this little tiny thing costs eight bucks. So I like that. What else? Oh, my last makeup item. These are, I saw these at the Saks Outlet and I love the Saks Outlet. These are Giorgio Armani eyeshadows, and they are gorgeous, and they were on sale for $5, actually $4.97 to be exact, and they retail for $28, so I was psyched. The packaging is just gorgeous. It's black, and then it's got the mirror and the eyeshadow. This one is a, a deep purple kind of plummy color, and they look super pigmented, and just the fact that it's got a mirror and the packaging is just so sleek and beautiful. I love it. This one is in number five. I also got, let's see, just a plain, my camera just died on me. Um, this was the matte black one. So I got that. And then I also got this other color that kind of looks like, um, it's, it's a taupey goldish color. It kind of looks like Max Mulch, but not so gold. So I think I'm going to enjoy that one. And I think that's it for makeup. The other life. thing that I bought that's not makeup related, but I got at the Saks Outlet were a new pair of aviators. And I had a pair of Arabian ones that had silver frames. And I found these. These are Kate Spade. And they're gold rim, but they're not the real shiny gold. And on the side, they've got the little pink dots. And so I just thought they were so cute. So I bought those. And I think these were like $99. Now, the phone just rang. Okay, so where was I? Oh, I was talking about the new sunglasses. So, I got those and really like them. Kate Spade, I think they were $99. The other thing I was going to ask is, I've seen some people do like the blog sales and the vlog sales. And I have some makeup, but I also have other things. Like, I mean, I have those old aviators that I think I've worn these. I mean, they're still, I don't even think I've opened the pouch. These are Ray-Ban. They're the silver ones. 
I've worn these maybe five times. I don't think they have any scratches on them. I have another pair of Fendi glasses. I have some handbags that I've carried only a couple times. Are y'all interested in that? I guess is what I want to know. Because um, sometimes I sell on eBay, but I thought it might be fun to sell to people who are really interested in this and that I kind of know. So let me know what you think about that. And I think that's about it. So I hope y'all have a great day and thanks again for watching.